Hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? Hey there, folks. You're all here. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Mass Effect 3. Playing through it. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Ash. Um, playing through it, we just went into the uh, casino last time for the charity event. Found somebody dead. Greetings, Commander. Commander. And I think we already talked to all our squad mates already. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick look at. Uh... Edie will get it done. Okay. I think we've got something, Commander. Yeah, so I think we're uh, pretty much good. I am glad to see my physical proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission, Shepard. Let's see what you find before we call it a win, Commander. Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost your chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. How come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. <laughs> and the camaraderie, the friendship? I think that's your secret weapon. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you? They bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max. What do they need that kind of firepower for? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel Archives. Punch it up. The Archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the Volus? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? Who's going to pay the bill? All right, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we'll pull, uh, you know, let's pull, uh, we're not going to pull ER, and that's intentional. We can instead pull, uh, I guess we'll take Rex, why not, right? Rex, and maybe, uh, Ash. Eh, yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, so we, why do we just, oh, okay. <laughs> so we have to re-gear now that we have, uh, look at this, M11 suppressor. Oh yeah, it does so much damage, but the magazine size is so low. Not actually gonna use a pistol, let's instead use something, a sniper rifle, and I want to uh, put a uh, scope on it intentionally here. Uh. You know, I'm actually, I want to, I want to pull something a little bigger. Ooh! 
Let me pick up a widow. Okay, so concentration mod. I can dig it. Uh, and there's our enhanced scope. And this is <laughs> it's a little bit heavy, but that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And Rex, you know, why don't we just give you a uh, claymore for good measure? Because why not? And don't really care about your pistol. You can keep the revenant. Not that it matters too much. And we still have uh, no real need to upgrade stuff here, but. And Rex. All right. is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. Don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with the sorry. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses! Again. All right, so yeah, actually, let me check the. Uh, I got to check the sound settings real quick. I upgraded to Windows 10, and it's kind of it jacked up my audio. I think it's fine. Don't have any choices, so. All right, well, I hope everything comes out all right when we uh, render this. <laughs> but yeah, so this is kind of a um, not a not a jab, but. Uh, Kind of pointing to the fact that you never get yeah you never get a chance to um to fight with your entire crew and now you got your your best friends here and they're all for some reason using pistols uh but yeah okay good Good, and then the... <laughs> more of your crew up here. Yo, I shouldn't have brought Re Rex just because... This... Drop your weapons or this won't end well for her. You bitch. All right. <sighs> Whatever you think you're getting away with. There's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Uh huh. So that's how it's gonna be. Who are you? You weren't the only shepherd that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Alright, so... First off... I want that armor. <laughs> and I've, I've never played through this with um with a female shep, so it's actually that actually looks really cool. But it looks cool in the male shep too. Um, kind of like the Cerberus. Uh, the guys who pop smoke and the, what, Centurions? But, uh, yeah, but you don't get to have it, so what the heck. But I, I should not have brought Rex along because he has the worst dialogue, in my opinion, of... I don't know, it's just, it's really annoying. And you'll hear it a lot, so, uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone. Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me. I was created for spare parts. In case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? 
in a coma until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. If you're really me, then we're on the same team. We're not even in the same league. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why are you trying to kill us? Because I don't have her memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Lieutenant Commander Williams. I would have picked the other one on Vermeer. Caden, something. You're just a pale imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing. Perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. Doubts the failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're Shepard. They will when I'm flying her ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitting command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm sending the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm looking forward to killing myself. I guess ominous threats of violence run in our DNA. But mine is more than a threat. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today. So, Good yet? No. Come on. Ugh. This, yeah, the lack of ammo from running uh, Widow here, it's pretty bad, but uh, we can make do. Yeah, the where do you think you're going princess stuff is like <laughs> non-stop with Rex. Okay. Now where'd the other you go? She's pushing into the archives. Stay in your groups. Team Mako, you're on point. Right. What's Amiko? Something we could use right about now. Team Hammerhead, cover the flank! Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the Hammerhead. Alright, so... Yeah, a lot of references just to, to random stuff. So you got your whole squad, which is never, never able to be done, or... <laughs> uh, like, throughout the series. You know, even when you're fighting Saren, it's just like, three of you. And... Over and over again, so the fanfare kind of you know brings out the fact that you have, you know, more people on your crew, and they they do the whole like, well, who's going to take point your shepherd? <laughs> the the little you know, because you have to take some people. So, uh, and then you have other references, uh, you know, like to to Mako and 
and uh, Hammerhead, which there was a lot of, I shouldn't say controversy, but uh, a lot of debate on which one was more fun. Uh, Mako was obviously in Mass Effect 1, and uh, Hammerhead was in Mass Effect 2. Yeah, we're really, like, dying on this, this ammo here. Lack of... Okay. Eight shots. And it doesn't even it doesn't do enough damage, it needs to be upgraded. Huh. Hey, please. Shepard, what do you think your clone is looking for in here? At this point, anything's possible. You mean like finding out you have a clone? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> right. At least not until we have a couple of drinks in us. How are we gonna find anything in this place? Glyph? Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? She looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. Find a way around. Now, if you get into the vault, we can move you across. Yeah. Ooh, I can change the loadout. Yeah, you know, since we're already using this and I'm running into ammo problems, actually, why don't we just use the Lancer because it's new and it's fancy and whatever. A rare collector's item that was introduced shortly after the first contact war. Refurbished. Uh, higher velocity rounds. Does not need to use heat sinks and uh, it does heat generation. So a few of these finally crafted up in, in existence. So it's basically an Avenger that uses uh, uh, heat instead of... Uh, it's a shame we can't modify the stuff, but it's fine. Just like a Mass Effect one, so it's another throwback. From the first contact war, year twenty one fifty seven. Humans fighting Turians. My grandfather was part of the war. So that's kind of cool, right? The other you is searching for something two hundred meters ahead. Got it. Fighting your own clone is pretty crazy, even by our standards. But useful. If there is a task you don't wish to do, Commander, let them handle it. So, like a personal butler? I don't want to talk about it. Right. Dagger Squad, I need more time to reach the vault. Keep Shepard off my back or I'll have your head. No, get out of here. What else? Who else? Who else? It's over and over and over. Oh yeah. Good. You want some too? Yeah, come on over. Come on over. Come on over. Who burr? Oh, this thing does some damage too. shoot something once when you can shoot it 46 more times the other me can't be far keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround her let's move all right so 
<laughs> yeah, that scene, oh my god, it's so ridiculous with the stormtrooper aim and just, like, Garrus was, like, right here, and then there was a guy on the other side, <laughs> and just, like, just so, so dumb. Um, but yeah, your squad mate, like, one who's climbing up the ladder will always say something, and then your other squad mate uh, will make the other remark. So you can actually, you know, you can run through this. I've seen a video of all the the squad mate remarks. It's kind of a kind of amusing, but... Let's see. Year 2157 CE. First contact war. Turian interrogation. Vault T91. Sir, we captured this human in the occupation of Shangxi. A human. You're the first I've met. And you're the first bird I've met. He was armed with this weapon, sir. How primitive. Your kind expects to win a war with this. A bullet is a bullet. You have so much to learn. And when we conquer your Earth, I look forward to teaching you. Alright, so this is the, um, the weapon that we're using right now. The Lancer. And you'll find, like, this is the archives, right? And it has all sorts of uh, data. And you can sit there and look. Uh, just You just approach it and then let it run through its thing. And it'll, it'll do that for all of them, but we aren't going to... We're not going to. I'm not going to waste the time. I just wonder what the other me is looking for in here. Malfunction detected. Please contact me. Oh. Ah. Okay, well, he's already charging off. Oh, man. Come. Someone can try! And our squads up there. Oh snap! No! Oh come on! Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be nice when we throw some uh, wall pen on this. There we are. Yeah, good. I think we got them all. Or, I mean, the rest of you did. Or, the Krogan did. Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. On it. <laughs> or, the Krogan did. There are some uh, some upgrades, I just don't remember exactly where they are. So, not that we really need them, it's just, it's nice. There's the overheat. First time we hit it. And aside from the um Commander, I have cataloged 18 previously unknown historical events. Where's the target glyph? 
She is searching for a secret vault. She did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought she was you. Go find her again. Stupid machine. <laughs> All right. I wonder if that shows up in our codex, the stuff that Glyph uh, catalogs. Let's check. Okay, maybe not. Check it later. Oh man. Oh no, Rex. I didn't even know the Atlas could do that. Oh, rest in peace. <laughs> Love watching those things explode. Commander. A large contingent of soldiers calling themselves Razor Squad is just ahead. They wish to inflict bodily harm on you. Also, I discovered an Elcor mating problem in Vault 't just talks forever this is stuff you would like you would never hear if you weren't um if you weren't running uh captions it's just <laughs> uh, and the the cool thing about it is that your teammates will actually they'll actually do stuff I mean everybody has horrible aim for whatever reason but I uh, I don't know if they can like completely take this out by themselves, but uh, it's kind of. Oh, I hurt so much. I kind of wouldn't be surprised. And the sniper. Oh, the sniper right here. Oh, I hurt so much. I just. Yeah, I just need you to get into your health pool. So okay. All right. That's a little better. Of course. Oh, <laughs> but why? I didn't think they would kill me. Oh, dang shame. All right, fine, 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 fine. They wish to inflict bodily harm. We're just gonna stay on the lower level. Uh, the downside of this is that you, which you uh, have to deal more with the the drones, but you don't have to deal as much with the sniper since you have the. You can limit their viewing angles a little better. Oh, it hurts. Oh my god, it hurts. This weapon is pretty good. I feel good about it. Okay, all right, all right. One more time, I, pr I promise. I mean, I can't promise anything, but I promise. To inflict bodily harm. 
Should be at least a little better. It's ah, oh, sniper is just so horrible. Okay, you guys focus on that. Yeah, get him, Rex. Get him, Rex. Wait, did did Liara put stasis on somebody? Or does Rex have it? Does Rex have it? Well, let's, let's check. Yeah, he does. Wait. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have stasis. How did that happen? If they can actually use abilities, that's kind of cool. All right, there we go. Ugh, it just hurts so much. Oh, uh, look at Ash! Look at her go! Oh, uh, oh, uh, poor Ash. She kind of cut loose with that revenant, though. I'm, I'm impressed. Slightly impressed, Ash. Don't, don't let it go to your head. Uh, you can light him on fire. There we go. And I can leave. Get the ankle! Get the ankle! Oh my gosh! It's gonna hurt! It's gonna hurt so much! Run for your life! Everybody run! <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, they don't do insane amounts of damage except to me. I'm like, Ash was just chilling there right in the middle of all of them. I like that glyph lower the, lower their morale. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, it's horrible. Okay. There. So unlike the uh, the the other guys, the Cerberus counterparts with the shields. These guys, you can't just pull it off of them. Oh wait. Oh, can you? I will be so sad if that's all I needed to do. I thought you... Uh, I really thought you could not. So I'm gonna pretend like that didn't just happen. <laughs> Okay. Good? Looks like we're clear. Looks like I saved everyone's ass again. <laughs> Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. Right. I might throw up a little bit now, if that's okay with everyone. Why would Brooks have even come along for this mission? Other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, drone. Deliver it. The next person who says that is fired! Alright. Your six leg trees. First step is to call the B-Locution. Vault S1. B-Locution. 
Gear J, you are accused of using 30 civilians as bait to flush out and assassinate your target. I think that's your lie. You're being released. The Council wants you to implement a new special tactics and reconnaissance group. Desk job? No, thank you. This is no desk job. It's going to be the best of the best. They will operate with impunity and answer only to the Council. You will be the first. Now that sounds like the best job on the galaxy. Kill me. That's pretty cool. Really interesting to see that the first Spectre was somebody who uh, was doing something that I uh, was not so much approved of. I think that did it. Krogan, Genophage, Deployment, Volt Team. Yeah, so there's all sorts of goodies here. All sorts. It appears the other commander has a bad temper. Collateral damage does not concern her. All right. Team Hammerhead, we're headed to the next level. What's your location? Hammerhead, do you copy? There's Team Mako. We'll try to clear a path, Commander. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Back. Ah. So that really was a thing. Ah, I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Okay. Oh, I forgot I have Carnage too. This is this is what I get for not playing the game for a long time. Huge spaces between the uh, the episodes here, and that's uh, due to a few different reasons, but. No, no, no smoke bombs for you, sorry. I think that did it. All right, we good? All right. Team Mako, we're coming up behind. What's your status? Mako, where are you? Year 2183 CE. First human specter deliberations. Vault SH-1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's her background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born on Mindwar. At 16, she survived a slavery attack that killed almost everyone in the colony, including her family. She enlisted with the Alliance a few years later. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? Early in her career, Shepard alone survived a Thresher Maw attack that took down her entire unit. That's the kind of strength, the kind of grit she has. Thank you for your presentation and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day. All right. And look at the, uh, the armor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Commander, do you copy? What's your status? The other U is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut her off. But I've been hit and need help. Please hurry. Hold on. Check something real quick. So is any goodies? No goodies. No goodies. That can't be good. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? Not seeing one. Cortez! Brooks! Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for, well, forever. Others know about this, about you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. Who 
the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. Your Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He is indoctrinated, whereas I prefer the whispers in my head to be my own. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The Collector Base? There was the Salarian Doctor, the Asari Justicar, the Drell. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke her up. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre Code. I got Shepard. Spectre access accepted. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms dealer. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear, if those guns get tracked back to me... They won't. But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So here we are. Forced to... contain the situation. <laughs> so, our options. I will end you, or I will end you painfully. And you can do this whole, like, smack-talking thing, but it's kind of... Yeah, that's a little whack. I don't know, we'll do it. We'll do this one first. Fair warning. Nobody who's betrayed us has ever survived. <sighs> and yet they keep trying. You two may think you're clever. And yeah, you were. Just a bit. But clever doesn't beat a bullet. And yeah, maybe I am trapped in here, but don't get comfortable. Because that bullseye on your back is getting bigger by the second. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda, I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. Now, I wonder if, uh, if, if you, like, let the Council die? I'm sure it says something different, but I've never done that. Uh, so it might be worth playing through again, just to kind of see how everything changes. Or even if it changes much at all, which would probably be the, the better estimate. And all I've seen you do is end lives. You're going to make a lousy me. <laughs> you know, the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it its shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard, human specter. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, uh... I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? She said I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. Maybe we should be worrying about the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever. I'm more confident than she is, more in control. With me, it's more like, that's all for now. Spoken like a Krogan. Show him who's boss. 
Probably not a lot of air in here either. And our tops. Or sometimes I'll talk to you later. Because, you know what, I never do. Leave them wanting more. Mm. I should. Shepard, we're in kind of a situation here. Hmm? Oh, Glip, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. That's one of the few moments where I think that Mark Mirror actually does it better <laughs> than Jennifer Hale. But he's the reason that the whole I should go the thing is kind of uh kind of a meme. I've got room for Shepard plus two and figure it out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. Alright, conveniently, room for two. We're gonna take Edie for reasons. Uh and we'll take uh We'll take Tally too. Yeah, we'll take Tally too. Uh, yeah, we'll take Tally too. What? I wanted to go. I know what you mean. I never seem to get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise. All right, so have our Lancer here. We can actually put some upgrades into it, which would be nice. Uh, stability, which would probably be helpful on this weapon. It's got quite a kick, but uh, we're actually gonna go with uh, piercing. I don't care so much about the magazine. It's not a huge deal, but uh, extended barrel, yes, maybe. Or high velocity barrel. This does increase the weight. But I'm not so concerned because it's not a very heavy weapon in the first place. And it, actually, if you upgrade it, it gets even even lighter here. You could throw ultralight materials on it, but it's not a big deal again. So, what's this? What's new? Locust. All right. Back. Uh, ED. Good, good. Everybody's good. Good, good. Warp. Uh, ED. Unshackled AI. A squad mate. Uh, tech power and damage duration. That's always a good one. Tally. And squad mate tech power by 10. So uh, we don't have any tech powers save Carnage. And that's not a huge... That's okay. It's not a huge deal. I mean, but squad mate stuff is really powerful. And I definitely recommend going that direction. This is why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Try. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Shepard, your clone has entered the ship and is attempting to... Well, this is awkward. I'm okay. Really? <laughs> The clone has disabled my control of the Normandy, as well as all sensory input. I cannot lock her out or counteract her commands. You still fit for duty? I am experiencing a significant feedback loop in my head, and an increased desire to kill your clone. Get in line. Well, whatever you do, hurry. If the Normandy gets to FTL, we may never see her again. It's not gonna happen. That's like the sole reason you bring ED. Are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others ASAP. Right. They can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Normandy. Do not get between me and my ship. <sighs> So taking the uh, the techie techie people is uh, obviously, you know, a good choice here. Yeah. Right here. 
No, please don't. No! Yeah, it's a new magic trick I learned. It's called common sense, which I didn't have before. Oh my god! <laughs> That's the one downside is that there's not a, a lot of room to maneuver, but... I guess that's not really necessary if you can sit up here. And whoop! Boom! There we go. There's the tech explosions. Really? Sure hope that's not the... Uh... Yeah? Okay. Come on, no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, over. Man, these guys just like popped up. They shouldn't have, but. Ouch. Come on, tech explosions. It maybe All right, what's going on with the uh, lack of overloads here oh. like really really Oh, not again, not again. Oh my god. Alright. Sometimes you need a little brute force. Uh, not with the kid! I, I don't think I've ever used... So many medkits. By medkits, I mean not medkits, but kind of medkits. Uh, okay, I'm gonna retreat a little bit. With this guy. Alright. Good. A little better. Ugh. Tally, can you, like, hack this? Would that be. No? Yes? Is it my friend? It's not my friend. Let's settle for the, uh, what happened, though. Better. Let's check up top, see if there's anything interesting. Nope. Nothing except that platform. We are preparing to depart. Take. Also take. When we want to take off, there's a half hour of pre flight checks. They just gun the engine and go? Most of those checks are actually Nope, screw you guys. Screw you guys. No. Screw you guys. Yeah, it's a little, little hacky, a little cheating, but... And I don't even... Wait, what? You were just on the Normandy, you... You fired me, dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. Yeah, yeah. That's a Cision Pro Mark IV. It uses mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Yes. I told you that. And I remember because I'm the real Shepard. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you. A, a clone. 
Honestly, when you serve on the Normandy long enough, you get used to things like this. I could explain more later. For now... <clears throat> it's sealed. Engines are online. They are preparing to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. I need another way onto the ship, and I need it fast. There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock, and it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? Triggering it would require extremely precise mass effect field manipulation. If you told me this morning that a toothbrush was going to save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. Shepard always finds a way, somehow. <laughs> this way. Wouldn't you rather take her down yourself? Armory, find her! Slow her down. <laughs> Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. Shepard? Later. Remind me later. This is like being back on the flotilla. Your flotilla is cramped, Dally. A little, yes. <laughs> Oh no! These are the worst! Oh, everything's the worst! <laughs> so it puts you in a really crappy spot. And if you have a more powerful class, then that's not really a problem, but... Yeah, so you don't have a whole lot of options. Can't pull shield off. Nope. Wrecking shop. Look at this. Look at this super stealth tactical espionage action. Bah. Okay. Good. It is strange moving through the Normandy without sensory access or control. I feel blind. We won't rest until you're back in control of the Normandy. And this is coming from me. Thank you. Let's get to the cargo bay. Yeah. And so they do block off the uh, the front hatch, which is... I wish they didn't. Something, something, something. 
Thermal scope. Favorite mug. Three credits. This is from my cabin. She's moving stuff out of my cabin. Oh, now it's personal. <laughs> These people are showing disrespect to my home, my body. It is unacceptable. I know the feeling. I intend to kill Shepard's clone, Agent Brooks, and anyone else in my way. Ordinarily, I'd be concerned about a synthetic wanting to kill that many people. But just this once, go for it. That's creepy. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are going to fool the Council? Or hack it? that big plan looking now? Hatchet squad to the shuttle deck. Alright, so I... You, normally it's, uh... You get your, your tacky tacky blade. And I say normally, but I'm not sure what other classes would do. Like, Engineer uses... I think Engineer uses a tacky tacky blade, and so does... Okay, so... Uh, annoying. Annoying! Oh, annoying! I, I should be pressing F. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Um... <laughs> like the death position. <laughs> ah, I just love my life. Um, yeah, you can't actually take your clone out yet. You get this sort of little back and forth. You gotta deal with all these guys and it's obnoxious because you have these two invincible people who are just like ruining your uh, your life. So the fight is definitely um, it's worthy of being uh, a last boss fight, which it definitely is. And you can stall her, which is nice having the, uh, the infinite ammo weapon for sure. But you really gotta gotta kill uh, all the bad guys, and also you gotta take out uh, Brooks. I I don't know if Brooks regenerates. I think you have to kill Brooks uh, or stall Brooks rather, and then you uh, you can actually uh, no 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 ah. Uh. So difficult. <laughs> um, we can try to run on the other to get to the uh, the other side of the ship, but yeah. But yeah, the intro where uh, where they're both fighting. I've only seen it happen with the tech blade, so it's really cool that. Uh, That it can happen with uh, just your magic, magic powers. Okay, we have to run. We need to run. This is not good. Oh, it hurts so much! Okay, good. Oh, it hurts so much. Hurt so much! Oh my gosh! Oh man! Yeah, this fight takes uh, definitely takes some some doing. Really, really. 
Kill it! Oh, uh, kill it with fire! Kill the sniper! Round. Oh, uh, kill it. Got that tech explosions. Yeah, Brooks. Oh. You heard I. Uh... Like soon? Negative. I'm occupied in the shuttle bay. Roger that, Commander. We'll proceed with Plan B. Plan B? The hell is Plan B? So Brooks called for backup. Really? All right. All right. Uh, create some meta gel. Cool. Actually, might as well use that. Top us off. Ah, 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 run for your life. Run for your life, Brooks. Just keep clearing out the uh, the minions here. So this is pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, there's Brooks. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, she can just like run all over the place. And it's this just makes it so difficult. But also getting like getting closed off is what really gets you killed. Getting boxed out. We do need to go for Brooks, so oh the fire! And she has abilities that you don't have.
again. Got that tempest. All right, got this, got this. But you have to kill the minions. You don't want to get shot in the butt. One down. Go, Shepard! Go, Shepard! And you can get her to dodge and such. You know where I got those scars? Barrels and Novaria and Burmire and Idle. And the collect space and Palavan and Tachanka and Brandon and Vestia. I burned these scars protecting the galaxy. So that scars must be free. Ah, again. Run over for your life. Where are you alive? Oh, it's shooting at us. <laughs> no, get out of here. Oh my god. I hurt so much. Okay, so here's some more cat six. Nah, I didn't mean to hit the uh, the overheat. Alright, where's the cat six? Where are they at? Oh, it didn't even reload. All right, I heard him pop down. But I don't see him, which... So maybe, am I just onto Brooks now? Oh yeah, yet? Oh, there we are. All right, she's down. At least for now. I don't remember if she gets back up or not. Come on. Right, come back, shields. Look at Tally, going at it. I like how even if you win that uh, little fist fight there, you still gotta <laughs> run for your life. Okay, Brooks. Ugh. Come on, come on. No, don't get stuck. Oh, I'm stuck! Where is Brooks? Ah! Uh, no! You're getting stuck on everything. No! Never. Get Dagger Squad in there, please do. Okay, Brooks. Okay, you take a seat. And I pretty, I'm pretty sure we need to find some, uh, some cat six people to kill. Like you hear them pop down, but they're not uh, kind of like staying. So, or they're not invisible, which is kind of an issue for us. So I hope it's not bugged. But I'm gonna kind of try to kill him again. See, you can hear them. It's just, uh, no. I know. And we have all our uh, crates of metagel, so that's always nice. Yeah, I don't know. Come on. 
we go. Alright, so I've always killed the clone. So, because it'd just be weird having two Commander Shepherds, right? But we'll see. Here, take my hand. And then, and then you live. For what? And then that happens. <laughs> Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. How about you, Edie? I am once again in control of the Normandy. Thank you for asking. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give them some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Until you escape. Me? Escape, but I'm not a field agent. Stop. Just stop. You betrayed me and the Alliance in the middle of a war. I was young and naive. Admit it, Commander. You'll miss me. Well, I won't miss you. You crazy Boshtet. Uh, maintenance to the shuttle bay? <laughs> the rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. Is sure leave always like this? <laughs> Come on, maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. Just us. It pays to have friends. So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please. We party down. Well, I gotta get going. Things to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya! Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. 
What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait, I am in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? <sighs> All right, but when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Fine. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Glyph. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. Alright, okay. So, now it's party time. We are not... I mean, obviously this is the end of the episode. That was a long, uh... Long, long bit. Long, uh... Excursion. <laughs> Multi-part excursion. But we... Now get to go out to Silver Sun Strip and, uh, explore all the sites and... Stories. And meet up with some old squad mates. Actually, everybody, except for Miranda. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, she died. I know. I know. Um, so, except for Miranda and I, I think uh, Zayed as well, because we didn't do the, the thing. But there are. Uh, there's going to be a good party. Good party, and we'll uh, we'll get to see a lot of fun stuff. And th there is, like, that was the end of the combat. But the, I don't know. We're not going to be able to like run through all of the, the squad mate things in a, a single sitting. Uh, I believe, and definitely not the the party. So at least a couple more episodes. Uh, of the Citadel DLC and hope that uh, I hope you can all enjoy it with me. I think it's it's great. It's just it's just so good and the just being able to to channel that sort of uh, camaraderie, you know, with your you know just having the squad mate actually be with you and all also having this sort of uh, peanut gallery commentary when when you're just you know, in a regular mission. It's nice. It's just nice. Alright, thanks very much folks. Real uh real signing off.